Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're talking about the AMD Ryzen 5800X. Ever since the Ryzen series were released, there are a huge pain in Intel's backside, and the 5000 series is the biggest one yet, so Intel's gonna need some aspirin. Let's check the box out. Right, so uh, on the front here, you just got Ryzen, uh, not much on the side here, and you've got some information on the back. Uh, processor here, you can see, uh, nothing on the bottom. And then this nice little holographic logo here on the on the top there. Right, so let's unbox it. And we've got Mr. Knife here, and we're just gonna make an incision here all the way across. Okay, and let's pop it open. And oh, really guys? Really, you got you got, you got this space wasting device here? Like, uh, look at this guys. So, so really, really the box just could have been like this size. You wasted all of this space. Look at all, it's basically empty. Really? Um, so yeah, it's, it's basically just this. The box could have just been, box could have just been this big. So you've got your CPU, your sticker, your space wasting device here. You've got your certificate of authenticity here. Uh, you've got a little note saying that you have to update your BIOS and an empty box. And that's all you get in this package. So in terms of packaging here, it's a step down. The box is very thin and it's, uh, it, it's just, it's very cheap uh, compared to last year's model. This is the 3900 XT. Uh, very, very solid box here, very thick, very nicely designed. And uh, it's got this uh, foam block, which uh, is the space wasting device of last year. It's a full on foam block, whereas now we just get this, uh, this budget piece of card. Right guys, so let's see how this compares to my current CPU, which is the 3900 XT. That's got 12 cores, this only has eight. Can it compete? We'll see. Okay, so with the CPU installed, let's do some benchmarks and we'll also be finding out if the RAM speed actually affects anything because uh, in the 3000 series, it didn't do too much. With benchmarking, you can see huge gains in some tests and very little in others, or in some cases, performance can decrease, which is why we always start off with Cinebench because it gives us an idea of overall system performance. So the 3900 XT scored 17,715 points for multi-core and 1,255 for single core. Our 5800X managed 14,623 points, which is understandable as it has four cores less. But in single core, it scored 1,571 points, which is a 25% increase, not bad at all. Next up, we're doing some games, starting with World War Z. The 3900 XT managed 173 FPS with 85% GPU load, and the 5800X slightly higher at 176 FPS and 87% GPU load. This tells us that in this game, we're most likely limited by the GPU, RAM speed or other factors, and not CPU. The next game is Dirt Rally 2.0, with the 3900XT hitting 174 FPS and the 5800X hitting 195 FPS, which is a 12% bump. We now move on to the WinRAR benchmark to see how the CPUs handle compression algorithms. Our 3900XT hits around 28 megabytes a second. The 5800X does a whopping 45 megabytes a second. That's an incredible 60% increase, so WinRAR really favors single core performance. And lastly, we round things off with a video rendering test. The first test is an edit with no effects. The 3900XT finished it in two minutes and 52 seconds. And the 5800X rendered the same file in three minutes and 10 seconds, about 10% slower. So the H.264 codec clearly does better with more cores, but 10% slower is not bad considering the 5800X has 4 cores less. Next, we render the same file with Lumetri Color applied to all clips. The 3900XT finished at 3 minutes and 13 seconds, and the 5800X did it in 3 minutes and 11 seconds, which is 2 seconds faster. Lumetri Color is GPU accelerated, so with those types of effects it seems single core speed is more important. Precision Boost Overdrive works really well with the Ryzen 5000 series. Just by enabling it, I was able to get 200MHz extra. If your cooling can handle it, you can set it even higher. Now I know this isn't the most in-depth testing, but it should be enough to give us an idea of what we're dealing with here with the Ryzen 5000 series. Right, so final thoughts. Obviously it depends on the benchmark. Some will be higher, some will be lower, but uh, it seems to be a roughly about a 25% increase in single threaded performance, which is actually a huge deal because we're used to seeing 5-10% from Intel, and it really helps out in games. As we saw in Dirt Rally, we got a 12% increase in frame rate. WinRAR performance went up by 60% despite having four less cores, which means it greatly benefits from single threaded speeds. We've also learned that the 5000 series benefits a lot more from RAM speed than the 3000 series does. If you haven't seen it already, we've done a video on that. With the 5800X, RAM speed doesn't affect everything. For instance, in 
city bench we saw little to no difference. But in Dirt Rally we got a 17% increase in frame rate just by increasing the RAM speed by 400 megahertz. And that's on top of the 12% increase we already got just by switching to the 5000 series. So if you're a gamer, definitely get some fast RAM. So to sum up, the 5800H is definitely worth getting as it's the entire 5000 series range. Personally, I would go with the 5900X because it's got the best price to performance ratio, but scalpers still have that on lockdown, so good luck. And as always guys, if your current rig does everything you need, then you don't need to upgrade. Thank you for watching, please leave a comment and I will see you next time.